Hi, I'm Nick from Glowforge. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take care of your Glowforge Spark. The information in this video applies to our Glowforge Personal Series, which includes both Glowforge Spark and Glowforge Aura. I'll be using Glowforge Aura in this demonstration, but you can follow the same steps with your Glowforge Spark. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Nick from Glowforge, and today I'm going to show you how to make your first Aura print. Along the way, you'll learn about selecting your material, finding the perfect design, and placing it in the app. So let's get started. Begin by opening the Glowforge app from your web browser at app.glowforge.com and then sign in. The first screen you'll see is your dashboard. And here you can see any designs that you've recently worked with, as well as some recommended designs from the Glowforge catalog. We're gonna start with a favorite design from the catalog. And to find it, just click the word catalog at the top of the screen. Now from here, we can browse through thousands of designs, but we already know what we're looking for. So in the search box in the upper right, type Aura Ruler, just like this. Here's the design we're gonna be working with. You can see that all the designs include details about size, skill level, print, and assembly times. Click Add to Dashboard. The Aura Ruler design we were just looking at is now first in your recent designs list. Click on it, and it will open directly in the workspace where we can edit or print. Now's a good time to put your material into your Aura. Open the lid, take a sheet of light basswood plywood, and place it into the printer bed. It should lay flat against the cutting tray with the QR code facing up. Every time you open and close the lid, your app workspace is going to refresh, and it will show the material you've just put into the printer. You'll see in this case that the app has automatically detected the type of material thanks to the QR code, and it's loaded the right settings for a perfect print. Now let's place your design on the material. Use the Select tool to drag and drop it wherever you want. To get the most out of every sheet, I typically start in the top corner. That leaves the rest of the sheet open for another project later on. To get really exact, you can simply nudge it up and down, left and right, using your arrow keys. Now with our material loaded and our design placed, I think we're ready to make some magic. Click print in the top right. The software will take a moment to prepare your design and then give you the estimated printing time. And then here we have it, the moment you've been waiting for. The button on your aura will start to blink. Press it, your aura is gonna to begin to print. Feel free to watch the progress. Not to brag or anything, but it's pretty satisfying to see a design become a real thing in front of your eyes. Once the printing finishes, wait a few moments for any leftover smoke to clear. And when it's done, the app will show an updated image with your now completed print. Open the lid and take out your new Aura ruler. Remove the masking from both sides. You can use your fingernails or the edge of a knife, but a piece of tape can really speed this along. And that's it, congratulations. You've created your first Aura print. To learn more about using your Aura, check out the Aura Print Basics video series in our Help and Learning Center on support.glowforge.com.